Hello, friend. Today I'm making a video. It's, uh, I'm not sure if it's number seven. I believe it's number seven in a series of 10 videos all promoting my book, Mormo's Road on Taken. And you can actually get the book for free by going, by joining my fan club on Facebook. And, uh, just go through and it's a post there. You can go into the files or whatever. But uh, it's my book. It's about achieving your dreams. And uh, there's, I th it's, it's not bad. It's, it's worth your time if you want to search it out. Uh, definitely recommend it. And today we're going to watch a video and then talk about it afterwards. So let's go ahead and get started right now. Why you need to work on your confidence if you want to succeed. Have you ever met a confident person? I'm sure you have. They stand apart from the crowd. They hold their heads up high. They don't slouch. When you shake their hands, their grips are firm and they won't back down from your gaze. They simply have an air of confidence about them and they always look ready to tackle whatever task they have in front of them. Here's why you need to work on your confidence if you want to succeed in life. One, your confidence will drive you to take action. When you're confident about something, you're much more willing to take action because you know deep down that you can succeed at whatever it is you're going to do. While others are procrastinating, you're already halfway to your destination. You'll reach your goals much faster simply because you took action and you didn't just sit around playing with your thumbs. Two, you can overcome your fears. Your confidence can slay your many fears. Whether it be the fear of the unknown, fear of success, fear of failure, fear of what other people think, your confidence will allow you to face and overcome them. If you've got what it takes, then it will be easier for you to ignore your fears and your insecurities. It will be your confidence that will basically stop your fears from distracting and bothering you on your journey to success. Three. You can say yes and no with confidence. You are often presented with many choices in life. When you're confident enough, you'll know the difference between right and wrong, and you'll know when's the right time to say yes and when's the perfect time to say no. Your confidence will equip you with the self-control. You're not going to do anything crazy that may delay or hold you back from chasing your dreams. Four. You believe what it's got to take to succeed. Self-confidence means believing in yourself and what you can do. Even if you know you're lacking some skills, you'd be willing to put in the time to learn those new skills. Your persistence and your confidence will pay off in the long run. A healthy self-belief will allow you to accomplish whatever it is you're... Okay, friends, so that video was just talking about being self-confident and having confidence and five different ways that it'll help you like uh, with um, deciding yes or no on different questions and stuff. And yeah, it is really important to be, to have self-confidence. I think you gotta know that you're good enough and believe that what you have to say is important and that people should listen to you. Especially if you're making YouTube videos, which uh, you probably are or you should be either way. But um, thanks so much for watching and um, go ahead and pick up my book, Mormo's Road on Taken. And the best way to get it is to just join my fan club group on Facebook. Just search groups, Mormozine Fan Club. You can friend my personal 
profile. There's a Mormozine fan club profile. There's a Mormozine fan club group. And that's where the book is. And then there's also uh, my Mormozine fan page. And I post a lot there as well. So thanks again for watching. Please watch more of my more of my videos and comment. Please comment. Each comment I get is like a gold coin, and I'm, I'm poor for comments. So please give me some comments.